So it is game day today and it's the big one. We are playing hashtag United today. So against obviously, well, you all know about hashtag United. <laughs> So let's have a look at the squad then for today's big, big game against Hashtag United. Unsurprisingly, there's me with the armband looking to see if I can score against them as I did in the 11 aside fixture. In goal, we've got Grez kept two clean sheets on the bounce. He'll be wanting another one today. Helping him try and do that will be Matt Creasy at the back. He's looked very, very solid. Two clean sheets since he came into the side. And Charlie Navesy performing unbelievably well out of position at the back will stay alongside him. Jakey Stevens in the midfield, then a scorer in the 11 aside fixture as well, so he'll be hoping to make an impact today alongside Ollie Walker, who's had a great start to his MHFC career. James Heiser finally got himself on the score sheet, and when goals came, they came in abundance, so he'll be looking to add some more today. Chris Hobster on the bench also scored in the last game, but only getting a place on the sidelines today alongside Tom Binks, another scorer, so very, very strong on the bench, along with Ansley, who will play depending on the game. So let's have a look then as we see me and my brother there getting the formalities underway before the game. Big feature, so obviously I've got the bragging rights at the minute, he won't be too happy about that. He scored a few goals in this competition as well, which is more than I can say, so he'll be looking to get one against us today. But I say obviously we don't we don't want them to win, we want to maintain our record of not having lost to hashtag, not something that a lot of teams can say, something that we're very proud of as we get underway in this one then with James Hyder on the ball just playing it back to me. We see in the last game trying to play with it along the floor and keep ball is going to be a massive thing for us today. Sometimes we've been a bit suspect of giving it away. So trying to play nice simple football then as we're just getting the ball moving around on the far side with me back to James Heiser. He's going to do a few little step overs before coming inside, dinking it towards the back post where Ollie Walker is in quite a lot of space, looking for some more options there as he's just coming back, trying not to pick a silly pass, plays into Jake, well for the 1-2 with James Hyers, but not quite on the same wavelength there, but not a bad start for us then. Obviously the ball at the back then with AJW, one of the better keepers in this league, so getting past him today will be a real hard task as we see Ryan Adams there with a great ball through to TJ Grez comes out and just does enough and the ball goes on for a goal kick but opened up quite easily at the back there which is a bit worrying as we see the ball then fizzed into Spencer who can't quite get it under and James Heiser pounces on it feeling confident from last game after five goals but that shot is not one he'll want to see again as you see the ball coming down the far side now as I just managed to get the tackle in with those lovely pink socks of mine find JQ plays it into James Heiser back to me and surely that's a slide there by Sam Adams is it yes the ref has given a free kick there for a slide tackle as you see JQ standing over the ball then sees me make a little run scoops it but gets a bit too much on it and the best I can do is head it into the hands of AJW as we see James Heiser then nipping in well doing well winning the possession here in front of the men as we see Matt Creasy in again just getting in a front of his man and interception the pass but all down the line finds his way to Ryan Adams and Matt Creasy again getting back well and poking it out for a corner so a lot of it happening in the midfield then today as we see a little bit of a foul there from Sam Adams for a high foot so we will get the free kick in this instance coming down the sideline then after the free kick but the ball's given away to Sam Adams who plays it down the line to his brother Ryan Nevs can't quite intercept it coming inside gets the ball caught under his feet fortunately for us which takes a bit of the momentum out but TJ's on the edge of the box goes to curl it in the far corner and Grez makes a bit of a save for the cameras then but tipped it round the post Sam Adams then managing to break up the play again then as we look to counter attack not managed to quite get anything flowing going forwards there are a few niggly tackles coming in and stopping us from countering. But we see James Heiser there with a lovely bit of skill, tries to pull it across there to Ollie Walker. Andy Jess Watts gets a hand on it and it's cleared over the bar in the end by Spencer, I believe. But that is the most dangerous that we have looked in this game so far. As we see the ball then being played around with the bat, this is something else we wanted to start doing a bit more rather than going long. Just finding the passes there in the middle as Nav finds it into James Heiser. But he does, he does see a long pass there, picks it out, Matt Creasy there. No idea what he was doing in that position, but it was a great run. And unfortunately, it was a case of the wrong man at the wrong time. But we see there another tackle coming back and doing well, not giving Ryan Adams a sniff so far in this game. As the ball comes out to James Heiser, who finds a ball onto the right-hand side with Chris Hobster. Can't quite get the pass in. Cuts inside well, though, on his left foot, gets the shot away. And again, another good save by Andy in goal there. 
as we see the ball at the back now with Andy as hashtag try to play their way out. Come down the line here, brother to brother, as we see the ball played inside there. Another great pass by Ryan Adams there in to TJ again with a chance. We've seen that combination a few times now and it's looking a bit dangerous, so need to sort ourselves out there. And again, as we try and counter attack, we see another bit. I'm not going to call it cynical, I'll call it clumsy for now but another foul there stopping us from countering. As we see the ball down the far side now, the ball sound on TJ again, he's had the best opportunities for them as well. He shoots from a very, very tight angle there. Didn't look like there was much on from him, but that has come off the bar and bounced very, very close to the line there as Ollie Morka runs the ball out of play. We see there, it didn't look like there was anything on. Gris almost ducking out of the way of it there. The ball bouncing off the crossbar and on the line. As we have a look at that again, we can see it is just on the line, not quite over it. Very, very unlucky for TJ there, who has had two or three good chances in this game then. So living life a bit dangerously as we get towards the end of this first half, but coming down the right-hand side with JQ, who's managed to turn his man at the back there. He looks to get it across the box again, and that's a couple of times we've been in that position and just not quite managed to find the final ball. As Hashtag United look to counter again with TJ. Find the ball into my brother, but it's deflected back to him. Gets the shot away. It's a good strike of the ball, but just a couple of feet too far to the right-hand side. As we see the ball being rolled in then on the far side by Robbie E back to AJW and the referee decides to blow the whistle there for half time so you have to say that Hashtag have probably had the better chances in this first half and we've been on the back foot a bit they've just been breaking us up as we've been trying to come forward on the counter where they know that we're dangerous and that's really stopped us flowing forwards but a couple of good saves in there by Grez, a couple of missed chances for Hashtag as well so we're looking for a bit more from us going forwards in this second half. Into the second half then, Stevens using his strength well and finding the pass to Spencer, who cuts inside on his left foot and has a speculative shot, but that is a comfortable save for Grez. As we see, James and Spencer linking up again well down the right-hand side. Looks for the little cutback to Ryan Adams, who leaves it, but no one's coming in, giving Jakey the chance to break here, as he pops it lovely through the legs there of Sam Adams. Through one on one, and AJ makes a good save there, but that was a real opportunity for us there. Lovely little bit of skill by Jakey to pop it through Sam Adams' legs through one on one and we see here why AJW is so difficult to beat. Stands up tall, stays big, doesn't commit himself and that is textbook goalkeeping. As we see the ball lumped up in there, now a bit of communication at the back there. That looked like a definite foul from me on Sam Adams but the ref hasn't given anything. As we see AJW at the back there is clearly taking the ball out of play as well but I think the ref realises he made a mistake and is happy to pretend that nothing happened. The ball coming in to Faisal then, but it just gets away from him. As you see, a little bit of pinball in the middle now, but it finally falls to me. Managed to pick the pass to Oddie Walker, who turns back looking for runners. As you see, Chobbs coming forward. It's played out to Jakey, though, who manages to find Chobbs. Cuts back inside, though. Lovely bit of footwork there from Chobbs. Into Jakey. Can he get the shot away? He can in the end, but he's closed down by several hashtag players who managed to get back. And in the end, just mishits the shot, but that was a good opportunity there. As we see... MHFC now trying to play up from the back and there's something happened there. There's all arms and legs. There's a boot gone flying up in the air as well. <laughs> you see Navs try to take it away from him. Ryan Adams coming in, treads on his boot and that is just a melee of all arms and legs. So understandably then the referee has given a foul but this will be the interesting bit though because I don't believe Navs has ever actually put on his own shoes. So normally you'll have his mum here or I'll do it for him before the game in the dressing room and especially with his predators with the with the tongue and the little bit of elastic that goes underneath this could prove quite difficult for the lad but we do we do try and encourage him to get on with these things himself as we see there he's just worked out you have to put it actually on the foot before you start tying the shoelace there just trying to remember what his mum told him about the bunny ears and the little loops that go over and under etc etc but he'll get there and at the age of 26 he has done well because it was only a matter of years ago that he couldn't even think about doing such a thing so well done Navs they're all very proud of you mate as we get the game back underway so the ball played forward then but this time it's my turn to give away a foul in that area of the field and you see the free kick is taken quickly TJ then just stepping inside the tackle finds a lovely pass on the far side out to Faisal Manji who finds Ryan Adams in acres of space and I have to say during the game I'd already accepted the fact that we'd gone one nil down there but somehow he has managed to miss it you would expect a player of his quality to put that away easily but you can see there it's not even close comfortably over the bar and we have really got away with one there 
as the ball played forward into Jake Stevens. Great touch to get it down then. Looking for some options. Find a lovely little reverse pass to Chris Hobster again. I'm going to use the word cynical this time because that one was taken down Chris Hobster on the edge of the box. And again, just not allowing us to play football at the minute. As we see the ball at the back there, and Matt Creasy finds a little ball down the line to me, looking for an option inside. But instead, I've seen a diagonal pass onto Chris Hobster, and unfortunately, he can't put that on target. Maybe should have gone back across goal, but another good chance goes for us then. As a few one twos there in between me and Ollie Walker, I try and whip the ball in, but it's a good block, and that will go out for corner then, which Chris Hobster stands over, looks to get in. It deflects out to Ollie Walker on the edge of the box. A great opportunity for him there, one you'd expect him to do better with now. And that's one all in terms of quality players blazing over the bar from short range. As we see a lot more of the ball for us now in the final few minutes. James Heiser looking to stand up his play and comes inside, comes inside again and he won't want to see that again. That's quite embarrassing for him. Matt Creasy though still battling away, gets the shot away but he can only find the outside of the post. A couple of times then our more skillful players, Jakey and Heiser, struggling to get their feet sorted in the final third. We see the ball come out to Ollie Walker again and a bit of miscommunication means Ollie Walker and Heiser get in each other's way and he just can't get it out from his feet to get the shot away. As we go along again testing Jakey's touch there and of course he comes up trumped. Looks for the ball across the box and this time Paul Nash is able to slice it out for a corner. Jakey Stevens then will be standing over this corner looking to whip it in at the near post. It comes back out to him though. Goes for the first time shot. Tries to catch out AJ at the near post but can't get it on target and again it's the outside netting as Grez pumps it forwards then going a lot more direct in this second half. James Harzer getting a shot away. Little deflection and again a good save from Annie Jess Watts in goal. As Matt Creasy then looking to come forwards, lost the ball but manages to deflect it back out to the hashtag United goalkeeper, who's gonna play it down the line and that will bring this one to an end. So a very, very tight game then, a very tetchy fixture as well, lots of fouls. You have to say hashtag probably had the best opportunities in the game, but we had enough of the ball and enough in the final third to think that we could have scored a couple ourselves. As we see then our man of the match award then going to Charlie Navy doing another great job at the back there, managing to get his foot in where it's needed and getting stuck in to the nitty gritty. A nil-nil then also means that there's no changes to the top goal scorers and the top assist chart. As we have a look then at the other results from match day four, we see another big win for Hashtag Academy, putting 11 past AFC Colossal and a bit of a squeaky 1-0 win for Copper 90. And let's have a look and see what that does to the table then. We can see that still keeps us top despite not winning our game. Hashtag Academy now close on our tails with nine points and a superior goal difference. AFC Colossal still down the bottom then along with London City failing to get themselves a win. Quite a tight middle hashtag then going down to fourth place as well. As we have a look then finally at the MHFC top performers for the season. Not a lot changing then unsurprisingly after a nil-nil apart from Matt Creasy managing to add another clean sheet to his CV. That's three in three for him now so very impressive. Jakey Stevens and James Heiser are still leading the attacking stats. So if you have enjoyed watching this video then don't forget to subscribe to see other content from us including our next level vlogs from the next level football league fixtures. Of course you can watch highlights of all the match day fixtures on the next level football league channel so make sure you subscribe to that if you haven't already. So thank you again for watching and for us it's on to the next one.